Hello everyone, it's me, Aaron, Professor Thorgy, your guide to all things geeky, and also someone who is incredibly cold right now. It is freezing in the Northeast at the moment. So I'm not going to stand up here too long today, but this is another episode of Comic Class, and it's the show every single week on this channel where we just geek out about comic books, and typically what that means is it means I come up here and talk to you about whatever that week's big release was, but this week's big release was probably Phoenix Resurrection, and I read that, and it's good, but it's also kind of confusing. Not in a bad way, but more in a, what are you doing here kind of way. It's a lot of stuff that isn't going to make sense until a couple issues go by, and those make for really bad episodes of this show for me to talk about. I'm not just going to stand up here for 20, 30 minutes just going, yeah, you know, it, it, it could be this thing. It's, you know, it, uh, uh, there's some stuff in there. It's, um, um, uh, it's happening. Uh, you know, you tell me what you think it means. Um, so yeah, I'm not doing that. Besides, it's a weekly series. It'll be over with by the end of January. I'll come back in when it's all said and done and talk about it then. No, what we're going to do today is something kind of different. Because I know that a lot of you recently got some holiday cash in your pocket. You probably got some aunts or uncles or parents or brothers or sisters or in-laws or whoever didn't know what to actually get you, so they got you some gift cards, they got you some actual cash, wrote you a check, and now it is burning a hole in your pocket, and you want to know what to do with it. And if you're turning in for an episode of Comic Class, you're probably going to want to spend it on comic books. But you're asking, where can I get the most comics for my buck? Where should I be going to get the best deals on the best books? Right now, Comixology is having one of the best sales I've ever seen on their site. They've got Marvel, they've got DC, they've got IDW, they've got tons of indie companies out there, all selling their books for 50 to 80% off. And this sale is going until the beginning of January. It is an insane sale. One of the best I've ever seen. I already said that, but it bears repeating. So, what we're going to do today is I'm just going to run down in no particular order my picks for what are some of the best books to pick up during this Comixology sale. In fact, many of these books are, as I said, not only on sale for 80%, they're also books that have been out of print in the physical form for a long time now. And I'm talking some major books, some that people have been looking for everywhere. This is the only place you're going to be able to find them is on Comixology right now. And before I go any further, let me just go ahead and address something that I know somebody is going to be asking. No, this is not a paid ad for Comixology. You know it's not paid to ad for Comixology because A, according to the laws of YouTube, which we all know how strict those things can be, <laughs> according to the laws of YouTube, if I'm doing a paid ad, I have to actually come in here and tell you I'm doing a paid ad. If I don't do that, then I can get banned. It is illegal for me to be doing that. So, trust me, if this was a paid ad, I would be telling you it was. You also know it's not a paid ad because there is no way in hell Comixology is going to pay me to talk about their site. Trust me, I'm not that famous. Comixology looks at my rinky-dinky little channel and goes, Who the hell is this peon? We're not going to give him our money. Flick him aside like that. Way like Comixology does. Um, but also, uh, I know that I work in a brick and mortar physical comic book store, and I know that a lot of people out there is like, well, I just prefer the feel of real comics in my hand. Uh, if you have never checked out Comixology, I used to be one of those guys who was like, yeah, I understand reading stuff on your little iPads and such and on your computers, but nothing beats an actual physical book. Uh, again, take it from a guy who actually works in a physical comic book store. Digital comics are really good. A, they don't take up any freaking space in your apartment, which God knows I'm running now that. But also, yeah man, I love the way that in Comixology it has the guided view option so that when you are scrolling through Comixology, you can actually just go panel by panel. It's not one of those things where there's a big reveal at the bottom of the page and as soon as you turn the page, you instantly see that down there. Really, I do just love the way that digital comics work. If I did not work in an actual comic book store, I would have switched to digital a long time ago. And I know I should not be saying that, but yeah, man, that's the other reason why you know this is not an ad. 
They don't have to pay me for this. I want you guys out there to have access to as many comics as you can get. I want you to be able to indulge in your geeky obsessions and not have to break the bank on it. That's one of the reasons why I love Comixology. You can actually get a $25 trade for three bucks and you can actually get some of those during this sale. So without further ado, here is my picks for the current end of the year Comixology sale. Now I'm going to start with DC. As I said, I'm not going in any particular order. I'm just starting with them simply because it happens to be the first sale that pops up when you go to the website. And this sale is going until January 4th. And I will be putting a link to each of these individual sales in the description down below because sometimes Comixology will have some books on sale and then they will take them off the main page when it gets close to the end of that sale. So it can be kind of hard to find on the website. But if you just follow the links down below, you should be able to get there. Now the first book I'm going to talk about is the JSA collection from Jeff Johns. Now this is a huge trade. That's one of the things that I love about DC. They will take some of their older books, not even like the really old stuff from like the 70s or the 60s. They'll take some stuff from the early 2000s when DC started to really get good, its last kind of golden age. They will take some books from there and they will just put them into massive collections. This one in particular contains 15 issues in there and normally sells for $25, which is still a good deal. However, it's on sale for $4.99 right now. So 15 issues for five bucks. That's three books for $1. And if you're a big Jeff Johns fan, which I know a lot of you are, this was really the book where people really started to know him. This was the book where people really perked up and went, oh shoot, this is a guy to talk about. Now just scrolling down the page, I'm going to just find the next book that really pops out to me. And the next one that I really want to talk about is Batman Hush, the 15th anniversary deluxe edition. Now, I absolutely loved Hush when it first came out, but I've heard from a lot of people it doesn't quite hold up when you go back to it, so I have been kind of nervous to buy the trade all over again because I can't find my old issues. However, this trade is only $5. In fact, most of the DC books I'm going to talk about are going to be $5. But again, this contains nine issues inside. No, wait, actually, I misread that. That actually contains 11 issues. It's an even better deal. But not only does it contain 11 issues, the complete Hush storyline, it also contains character sketches, alternate artwork on here. It contains all the stuff that you would expect from a deluxe edition, all the behind the scenes stuff and you get it for cheaper than the regular trade itself. So if you're one of those people who have never checked this book out, you've always been curious about, or if you're one of those people like me who did check it out and you wanna know if it still holds up but you don't wanna track down all your old issues, this is a great opportunity for you. Speaking of deluxe editions, if you wanna move away from the superheroes and move into the DC's Vertigo line, they also released a deluxe edition of Trillium, which was the first book that really made me take notice of Jeff Lemire. It is this gorgeous trippy series about a hunter from the past and an astronaut from the future they find a temple that allows them to connect through time it's a love story that takes place in the past and the future and alters all of reality by the two of them coming together i know i am not doing it nearly enough justice with that description but it is a gorgeous book it is put together in a very imaginative way and as i said a deluxe edition for five bucks it's a great deal Next thing on the page, they gave Batman his own section because of course, and again, every single one of these books are only $5. And honestly, you can find almost any Batman trade you can imagine in this sale. I don't even have to give you recommendations. Everybody out there has one Batman story that they've always wanted to read. Well, guess what? It's here and you can get it for only $5. So, Death in the Family, Earth One, Batman Son, The Killing Joke, Long Halloween, Year One. Were you wondering if that new Frank Miller Dark Knight 3 was any good? Guess what, five bucks, go ahead and check it out. But also, I would go ahead and point out Every single trade from the Tom King Batman is in here and it is on sale for five bucks. This is something that I would really recommend because I've been kind of hot and cold on the Tom King Batman, but I think in the last couple of issues, it has actually become great. Like every single one of these trades, I had moments that I loved and moments that I really thought were kind of bland. I never hated anything, just thought they were kind of, eh, whatever. Uh, but in the War of Jokes and Riddles, the most recent one that came out, that one, it started off great, 
then kind of became, oh man, this is weird. What on earth are you doing? But as the storyline went along, I started to understand what it was trying to say. And then when it got to the very end of the book, I loved it. I was blown away by the ending of it, and it's been leading into all of the Batman, Catwoman getting married stuff, and that stuff has been amazing. I have loved all of those books. So, if you have been wondering about getting into the Tom King Batman stuff, including reading The Button, his big crossover with The Flash, all of those books are only $5 each. Next up that's worth talking about is the Wonder Woman section. Everybody has been asking me ever since that movie came out, what are some good Wonder Woman recommendations? And I did an episode in which I talked specifically about how to get into the current Wonder Woman books, but I never talked about any of the older Wonder Woman stuff. Uh, th probably the most famous Wonder Woman books that you can pick up would be the Greg Rucka run on Wonder Woman. That's the one that most people point to as the best run on that character. And again, these are some massive collections that DC has put together. Uh, and and as always, they are each $5. I'm not even going to say that anymore. You know at this point every single one of these are $5. But you can get the Greg Rucker collection in here. You can also get the John Byrne or the George Perez stuff. That stuff, not as good, but at least the George Perez stuff I can point to and say, yeah, that was kind of iconic. That was another moment where people really took notice of Wonder Woman when she really became big again. So those are definitely some massive collections that are worth checking out. You can also move into the DC event section, which is right underneath Wonder Woman. And here is when it gets into some really good stuff. If there is any DC event or miniseries that you have ever been curious about, there are some amazing ones in here. Blackest Night, the Sinestro Core War, those are two of the most highest recommended crossovers that I can pitch to you. I love both of those. I have almost zero problems with them. They were fantastic. Uh, DC The New Frontier, that is a classic that so many people who are getting into comics are always told to read, but they are kind of hard to track down. This one, you get both book one, book two, easy deal right there. Flashpoint, everybody is asking about Flashpoint. We know it's going to be the subject of the new Flash movie. It was the subject of last season on the Flash TV show. It's the thing that created the new 52. Everybody has been asking about Flashpoint for years now. Here is an easy place to read that book. Speaking of other books that really changed the DC universe and a lot of people have really been curious about, especially recently, Watchmen is on sale. Yes, if you have never read Watchmen, but you know that they are playing a major role in DC Rebirth and you want to finally dive into it, it's here, it's on sale. But if you want to know the history of all the big massive Crisis crossovers that happen in the DC Universe, you have to start with Crisis of Infinite Earths. That is the classic, that is the one that really changed the entire DC Universe for the first time, in which they took all these realities, merged them together. It set up stuff about the DC Multiverse, that still plays out to this day. Like all the stuff going on in Dark Knight Metal or all the stuff that happened in Multiversity, it has such a bigger meaning if you read Crisis of Infinite Earths. And it is a huge book, so I highly recommend taking advantage of this sale. Also, one last one from these DC events to throw out, Kingdom Come. If you have still never read Kingdom Come, it's one of the best Elseworld multiverse stories I've ever read from DC. It does that whole, oh, it's the future and things are kind of bleak and all the heroes have given up. It does that style storyline better than I have ever read it in any other mainstream comic. I remember being blown away by Kingdom Come and every time that I go back to it, it still has that effect on me. The artwork from Alex Ross and the understanding that Mark Wade has for these characters work hand in hand to craft one of the best stories about these characters, whether it's in an alternate reality or in any universe. Moving along, if you have never read Sandman, hey, listen, I understand it is a huge collection of trades. It is really an epic struggle to have to get through that many books at that high of a cost. Well, every single trade in the Sandman series is also part of this sale. Uh, moving into something that is the complete opposite of Sandman, Injustice. The Injustice books are all in, on sale, including the most recent trade from Injustice 2. And the Injustice books win my personal award of being the book that should not be as good as it is. It's a video game tie-in series. How on earth is it this dramatic, this humorous, this tear-jerking? I'll tell you how, it's because Tom Taylor is writing them and that man is a genius. 
Yes, he wrote most of the first half of the uh, Injustice comics for the first video game. I think he wrote up until year four, I believe. And then after that, they switched over to someone else. And after they switched to someone else, yeah, you could definitely see the drop in quality. But he has returned for Injustice 2. And I gotta say, when I went into these books, actually, that's a lie. I did not go into these books. I looked at them and went, it's a video game tie-in book. Those are never, ever good. And then it kept getting amazing reviews. And I was like, oh, well, you know, they're probably... They're probably just big fans of the video game and they just want something else related to the video game. But then more critics and more critics started coming on board saying these books are good and eventually I caved and I was like, fine, I'll read it, I'll check it out. Holy cow, these books are stunning. They are some of the most dramatic DC stories I've ever read. And again, it's a video game tie-in series. I shouldn't be saying these words, but it really works. And like I said, Tom Taylor, he came back for Injustice 2. I am reading through that thing right now in Comixology, and I am holding my breath with every single chapter. I am loving it. If you were a naysayer like me, and were like, yeah, there's no way this can be as good as people say, this is your chance to finally check it out. 52. This was one of the most creative things that DC ever did. They had a weekly series come out in which it starred a lot of the less popular characters in their universe. Basically, the concept was it was a year in which Batman, Superman, and Wonder Woman all went away. And this is what happened in the DC universe during that year. And it was 52 issues, came out once a week. Every single issue of that took place in real time over the course of that week. It was a very unique experiment. But it was actually really darn good. There was a little bit of a dip in the middle. There was that moment around like issue 30-ish in which I was like, eh, do I really want to keep reading this? It's not that great anymore. And then it picked right back up and it became really damn good towards the end again. So this is one of those things where it is a huge collection of books. I understand you looking at this and be like, oh shoot, I don't know if I want to buy 52 comics. It's divided into four different trades. That comes out to $20 in this sale. That is a damn good deal. Now, I could keep going on because, as I said, almost every single trade that DC has ever put out is part of this sale. But if I just kept talking about every single DC book that I think you should read, I would be here for hours. So I'm just going to talk about one final book. The Grant Morrison Collection of JLA is also part of this sale. This was the book that got me into Justice League, and I'll be totally honest with you, I don't think anyone else has ever done Justice League this good. Now, I've always kind of had a problem with Grant Morrison because he tends to get really, really imaginative. And I know that sounds like it should be a compliment, but he tends to go so crazy with his ideas that they don't even make sense when I'm reading them on the paper. This was him being creative enough to still have big, amazing ideas, but being restrained enough that they actually made sense on paper. I could actually understand what was happening. And also, he had some of the best moments for every single one of these characters. Some of my favorite Batman moments were from this run. Some of my favorite Superman moments were from this run. Some of my favorite Green Lantern and Flash and Martian Manhunter moments were all from this run. It is definitely worth checking out. And when you're done with that, Continue reading along in JLA, because after that, Mark Wade took over, and he's the guy who did the Tower of Babel storyline that everybody praises and everybody points at as one of Batman's greatest storylines. I don't know if I would agree with that, but it was a damn good storyline. But nobody ever talks about the storyline that he did right after that, in which they did a storyline where this magic wishing machine came to Earth, and it granted a wish for the Justice League where they could lead separate lives, and then they were each divided into two parts, in which... Clark Kent was no longer Superman. Superman was Superman. And Bruce Wayne was no longer Batman. Batman was Batman and Bruce Wayne was Bruce Wayne. Basically, they each got to be separate people. And it showed kind of what the important parts of the Flash were for Wally West and what the important parts of Wally West were for the Flash, what the important parts of Clark Kent were for Superman, and what the important parts of Superman were for Clark Kent. Uh, it sounds like a crazy idea, but when you read it, it actually makes sense. And it is one of my favorite Justice League storylines of all time. Next up, I'm going to move into the IDW books. And many of the IDW books are already on sale, but they also have a code word sale going on. If you use the code IDW in the checkout, cart then you are going to get 55% off and this offer goes until January 4th. Now 55% off any book that was released before December 1st that's pretty impressive. However I have looked all over this and near as I can tell 
That also applies to the books that are already on sale. I could be wrong on this. But yeah, I'm reading all the fine print on this, and it does not say that if the book is already on sale, then you can't reduce the price even more. And I've seen them do these sales before, and that's exactly what happened. So as far as I can tell by looking at this, you can actually get some of the best discounts of any of the sales I'm talking about today on these IDW books by using this code word. Now, there aren't as many books at IDW to talk about as there are at DC. However, there are still some really darn good books, including my personal favorite series of all time, Lock and Key. Now, I have talked about Lock and Key many times on this channel, but if you still have not heard me praise this series, it is about a group of kids whose father dies, so they have to return to his old home in Maine, because it's written by Stephen King's son, so of course it's going to be set in Maine. But when they move into this house, they find a series of keys hidden around the house and only the children can see it for some reason none of the adults can see these keys but when they take these keys and they use them on doors and then walk through that door something changes to them some doors when they walk through it will turn them into animals it will change their gender it will change their body size it can turn them into giants or shrink them down it can allow them to have control over shadows they can use it on their own minds and alter their own memories yeah, it does some pretty creative stuff in this book, and I know that it sounds like this is some young adult, Harry Potter, mystical fantasy adventure, and it does indeed have that tone to it, but it also has a huge dash of horror. This is one of the creepiest series I've ever read, and when the big payoff happens at the end and you learn the big mystery of the keys, Holy cow, it is actually chilling. It has been many years since I have read this book and it still remains my favorite series of all time. And right now, every single volume of it is on sale for either $10.99 or $9.99. And like I said, when you use that code word IDW, you're going to get an additional 55% off, making each volume between four and $5. Moving into something completely different, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles series at IDW is one that I kept hearing was great for a long time and I just kept dismissing it because yeah, it's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I loved it when I was a kid, but I mean, if you're coming in here and telling me, no, this is a great book for adults, eh, you know, no offense, but I wasn't exactly going to buy that. Well, as you all saw with Injustice, I often don't know what I'm talking about. Many times people will tell me that book is great and I will dismiss it and then eventually I will come around on and the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles series was one of those. This is indeed a fantastic series and it's one of those that when I started reading, I just binge read it all. I just sat down and I got hooked on. It wasn't until about the end of the second volume that it really sunk its fangs into me, but once it had a hold of me, it didn't let go. I love this series and it's not just because I was a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles fan when I was a kid, although that does help because this takes aspects from every single incarnation of the turtles, merges them all together, and actually does something I have almost never ever seen. You know when they take something that was meant for kids, and they try and update it and make it for adults, and how often when people do that they fall flat on their face? This is like the one time I can point to someone doing that and say they actually did it accurately. Yeah, I cannot believe I'm saying this, but someone actually took the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and updated them to be a gritty, street-level, dark, adult-themed comic book, and it actually worked. But at the same time, they held on to the charm of that original animated series. It still has some of the more wacky tendencies of that show, and it blends the two together perfectly. If you were a naysayer on this series like I was, every single volume is on sale right now for varying prices. The cheapest I'm seeing is $4.99, the most expensive I'm seeing is $10.99. But again, you can apply that IDW code word to get an additional 55% off. That's actually a huge saving on some of these books. And as you can tell from me talking about the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles series, IDW is kind of known for snatching up properties from the 80s and trying to modernize them. They actually have a pretty good Ghostbusters series out there right now, but they also have Transformers. They have a bunch of other properties based on old toy franchises. However, they also do some really artsy stuff because they have a division called Top Shelf and all of their books are also included in this sale. And that includes the Alan Moore classic From Hell, Monster on the Hill, which is a series that I always really enjoyed. I always describe it as being like 
the lost Jim Henson movie that he never got to make, and also the March series. Yes, March is a series of books that is all about the life of Representative John Lewis and his work in the Civil Rights Marches. Three volumes of it came out over the course of three years, and all three of those volumes were always in my top 10 best books of the year list. They were a fantastic read. I recommend just checking out pretty much anything from Top Shelf. They do some really weird creative stuff, but typically it always tends to be pretty darn good. Next up, let's move into one of my personal favorite indie companies out there, Boom Studios. Now again, just like with IDW, this is a code word sale. You're going to have to enter in the code word BOOM50 at the checkout cart. But this is a line-wide sale, so literally any Boom Comics that came out before 1215 is going to be part of this 50% off sale. And Boom is one of those indie companies that I'm sure you've heard a lot about. They put out their The Power Rangers series, they put out their Lumberjanes, which has been one of those series that everybody has talked about, but they also do tons of other really short series that only last for about four issues, but they are all a delight. They are all super fun and worth checking out. So this is one of those companies that I think you all need to just browse because I'm sure there's at least something they are pointing out that you are going to really dig. And this sale is going until January 2nd. Now again, I'm just going to give you a couple of my own personal recommendations. If you have not checked out Lumberjanes yet and you just want a fun, upbeat series about a bunch of girls at camp experiencing weird supernatural stuff, that one is great, especially if you have little kids and you want to find some book out there that is perfect for them. That's a good fit. But also, Met Cadet U. This is a brand new series. It's only up to issue number four and it just got renewed to be an ongoing series and it totally deserves it because this series is fun. It is about a world where these giant space robots have come down and they formed an alliance with human beings and basically when these robots come down they imprint on people and there's an academy out there that trains people to be the perfect pilots for these robots. The robots come down, they pick one of these pilots that they want to man them, but one of these robots come down and it basically just picks the son of the janitor. It's this kid who everybody at the school has been making fun of. He wants to be a pilot so bad, but they all keep pointing and laughing at him and he's not allowed into the academy. Then this robot comes down and it picks him. And yeah, now all of a sudden he has to be promoted to be one of the pilots of these badass space robots. It is adorable, but also a heartwarming book. It is about family, it is about friends, and it's about saving the world. I totally recommend this series. Now, Mecha Debt U and Lumberjanes are great fits for anyone, but especially for kids. However, if you're older, say like college age, and you want something that's aimed more at you, Giant Days is an amazing series that I cannot recommend enough. This has been one of the most consistently solid books I have ever read in my life. It is up to six trades at the moment, and yeah, I have never not enjoyed any of them. I will admit, it took me a little while to fully get invested in it. It's one of those series that as you're learning the characters, it's like, alright, they're kind of fun, but once you get attached to the characters and you know each of their own personal jokes, each of their own personalities, and how they interact with everybody, and you know all these supporting characters, then all of a sudden, you're invested. It's like watching a television series in which, yeah, if you just tune in for the first couple of episodes and they have to introduce you to the characters, okay, it's fine, but once you get to know them all and you understand what's going to happen to these characters when they go to a specific place, yeah, you can't wait to continue it. It's one of those books where you just want to keep reading every single chapter and you're just going to love watching these characters grow and bond with each other. It's just a slice of life series about three girls moving into college and it's one of the funniest books I have ever read. At least one of the most consistently funny. As I said, it's been around for years and I'm still laughing at it to this day. The first volume of it is only $4.99. The most recent volume of it is $7.99. So that's a pretty good deal on every single one of these to begin with. And those aren't the sale prices. Those are the regular prices. So when you put in that discount code, all of a sudden that goes to $2.50 to $4 a trade. That is a great deal, and as I said, this is one of those books where if you're going to read it, you probably want to get about two or three trades just so that you can get really invested in these characters. Yeah, this is the perfect time to jump into Giant Days. Now before I leave Boom Comics, I'm just going to run down some of these really quick because Boom, as I said, puts out lots of miniseries and a lot of them are really darn good. So I can't stand here and give you the full pitch on every single one of these. So I'm just going to race through some of my favorites. 
Goldie Vance, a charming, adorable story about a detective working at a hotel in the 1950s. It's got that old Hollywood vibe to it, and it captures it incredibly well. Hex is about a witch who works as a security guard at a museum that holds many valuable items, including some mystical ones. It's one part supernatural, one part Laura Croft. Mimetic, another great creepy horror series. It's all about a meme that ends up driving people insane after they've seen it. Yeah, I know that sounds like a crazy idea, but it's really damn effective. Hit, it's a typical crime noir series, except for the fact that it's done insanely well. If you are into the dark, gritty crime noir stories, this is a must read. Tyson Hess's Diesel, it's a series about a young sky pirate whose ship ends up getting destroyed, so now she has to team up with a group of misfits to race around and try and find out who is responsible for this, including coming into contact with her long lost father. It's fun, it's imaginative, and it's also got probably my favorite art style of any of the books that I'm talking about today. Slam is a story about two friends coming together as they join competing roller derby teams. I never knew anything about roller derby, but this book is done so well, it actually kind of got me interested in it. And I have actually spoken to fans of roller derby, they actually love this book. And lastly, Polarity. If you are a fan of Max Bemis and the stuff that he has been doing over at Marvel, such as the new Moon Knight series or Fool Killer, this is where he got his start in the comic book industry, and you can really see what he is going to become one day. He is a guy who understands how to write not only superpowers, but also mental illness, and combine the two into one. And lastly, I am moving into Marvel, and oh my goodness... This is the biggest sale out of any of these. It's no code word sale. All the sales are right there on the Marvel page, but they have books up to 80% off and that's down from already discounted prices. I cannot honestly believe some of the savings on this. Again, I have to let you know, this is not a sponsored video because these sales are so good and they have me so hyped. I know it sounds like I'm being a pitch man right now, but these are just damn good prices and I have to share them with you. And unlike with the DC sale, pretty much everything at DC is on sale. Not everything that Marvel has is on sale. However, Marvel has got a lot of stuff on Comixology that is not in physical print anymore. So if you want to read these books, this is the only place you can find them. So you need to perk up because I'm going to list off some really impressive stuff. But before I get into the stuff that is out of print, let me just talk about the biggest deals that they have right now. Vision, Volume 1. Yeah, you know that Tom King Vision that everyone loved and everybody was hyping up and saying was the best book of last year, including me? The first trade, $2.99. That's cheaper than a regular Marvel comic. Same thing goes for Volume 1 of Astonishing X-Men, that Josh Whedon X-Men series that some people have called the best X-Men book of all time. $2.99 for the first trade. Also $2.99, the first trade of Matt Fraction's Hawkeye, that series that completely redefined Hawkeye and made everybody go, oh, who's this Matt Fraction guy? He's really good. $2.99. Same thing goes for the first volume of Runaways, the first volume of the Mark Wade Daredevil, which many people have called the best Daredevil series out there. And for even cheaper than that, $1.99, the first volume of Miss Marvel. Yes, one of the best books that Marvel has been putting out over the past couple years. First volume of it, $1.99. Same thing goes for the first volume of Ta-Nehisi Coates' Black Panther. And for Doctor Strange, The Oath, my own personal favorite Doctor Strange series of all time. Now let's move into some of Marvel's big event books. Infinity Gauntlet. You know how the big Infinity movie's coming out and everybody is talking about Thanos right now? Do you want to read the story that that was based off of? The Infinity Gauntlet story, $2.99. Again, cheaper than a single Marvel book, you can get the entire Infinity Gauntlet storyline. Also, Secret Wars, the last truly great storyline that Marvel did as a major event, the one that set up the current Marvel Universe that bid farewell to the Fantastic Four, $4.99 for that entire book. Spider-Verse, $8.99. I know that is the biggest price of any of the books that I have listed today. However, that is not the main Spider-Verse storyline. That is Spider-Verse and every single tie-in to it. That is a massive trade. It comes out to over 20 issues, I believe was what I last counted. 899. 
Now I'm going to take a quick break from talking about all these giant massive Marvel events because while we're talking about Spider-Man, if you've been reading the current Peter Parker the Spectacular Spider-Man series, you might be wondering what's all this stuff about him maybe having a sister or not? It references back to another book, but I don't remember ever reading that book. That's because all the stuff that is going on currently in Peter Parker the Spectacular Spider-Man started in a Mark Wade original graphic novel called Spider-Man Family Business, and it was good. I liked it. However, it's 25 bucks. It is not worth 25 bucks. And if you're reading the current Spectacular Spider-Man series, you're probably very curious to check it out, but you don't want to spend that kind of money. Right now, it's on sale for $2.99. Cheaper than a single issue of Spectacular Spider-Man, you can read this entire massive original graphic novel and get an understanding of everything currently going on in that series. Planet Hulk, $6.99. Did you like Planet Hulk? You want to read the next thing that comes out? World War Hulk, $1.99. Two bucks for World War Hulk. Next up, I'm going to talk about some stuff that is currently out of print. A lot of people know that I'm a big Avengers fan, and many people have asked, what is my personal favorite run on the Avengers? It is hands down the Kurt Busiek, George Perez run on that book. I'll admit it had a few low points here and there, but even its low points were okay, and its high points were amazing. Problem with recommending that book is, it is completely out of print, except for in the giant omnibus collection. And I just don't feel okay telling people to go out there and spend 150 bucks on this omnibus in order to appreciate one of my favorite Avengers stories of all time. They have divided this into the three original versions that this book came out in. Each of those three books, $5.99 each. That comes out to less than 20 bucks on what I consider to be the best Avengers run of all time. Also, have you ever wanted to get into Deadpool? Well, you can start reading the Deadpool Classic series for $4.99 each. I tend to recommend that people just skip volume one of the Deadpool Classics because that's back when he was just a Rob Liefeld character who was nothing but a ripoff of Deathstroke. It wasn't really until volume two of that series where he really became the character that everybody loves today. But at $4.99, heck man, go ahead and read volume one for all I care. And if you want to go ahead and start reading the more recent stuff, the Deadpool World's Greatest series, Book one of that, a buck ninety nine. Book two of that, a buck ninety nine. Book three, book four, a buck ninety nine. How about some Wolverine? The classic Chris Claremont, Frank Miller series that started Wolverine off, a buck ninety nine. Or how about Old Man Logan? Have you always looked at Old Man Logan and thought, man, I really want to read that, but dear God, is that expensive? Seriously, that book is like twenty five bucks. It is not worth twenty five bucks. However, it's on sale here for $3.99. That's a pretty darn good deal! Speaking of great runs on great characters at great prices, so many people point at the Jonathan Hickman run on the Fantastic Four and say that it could possibly be the best run on those characters that we've ever had. And honestly, yeah, they might be right with that. However, that's a lot of issues to read, and it comes out to a pretty high price. Except here, every single volume of the Jonathan Hickman Fantastic Four run is a buck ninety-nine, except for the last volume, which is two ninety-nine. But still, that's an insane bargain. How about some Thor series? I have been talking nonstop on this channel for years about how much I have loved the Jason Aaron Thor run, especially the stuff that they have been doing with Jane Foster. Well, volume one, volume two, volume three of the Jane Foster stuff is a buck ninety-nine each. Volume four of it, three ninety-nine. They even have the unworthy Thor series, so you can find out what happened to Thor Odin's son after he lost the hammer. Also, three ninety-nine. How about the Guardians of the Galaxy? Do you want to read where this current incarnation of the Guardians of the Galaxy really began? The stuff where they really introduced Star-Lord and Rocket Raccoon and Groot and Drax and all of them onto the team? The first volume and the second volume of that collection, $2.99 each. But this is the team that spun out of the giant event Annihilation, and that has been pointed at as one of Marvel's greatest events, which raises the question, why the hell does Marvel not have it in print? This is a book that I am constantly asked about at my local comic book store, and we never have it because it doesn't exist anymore. It is no longer in physical print. If you want to buy it in physical form, you are going to have to hunt down a second-hand copy of that, and whoever is selling it will be able to sell it to you at whatever price they want to charge for it because it's the only place you're going to be able to get it. 
Unless you go on Comixology right now, where all three books of Annihilation are currently on sale. And you might be asking, do I have to read all three books? Not necessarily. The main Annihilation event only happens in book three, which happens to be the cheapest one in this sale, going for only $3.99. Part one and part two are just the prequel miniseries that came out. But those do add more to the picture. You do get a better understanding of Annihilation itself if you do read the prequel stuff. And considering that those prequels are only $4.99 and $5.99, heck man, it's worth checking those out too. And speaking of books that are out of print, I'm going to throw in there a weird one. As I said, there are many bizarre choices that Marvel has just decided to stop putting out in trade. And one book that I read when I was a kid and it kind of blew my mind and it's one of the craziest alternate reality stories I've ever read was Earth X. It was a world where everyone on Earth got superpowers and basically it followed all of our heroes roughly 30, 40 years in the future, seeing what had become of them, and it was such a strange look at these characters, and it was really imaginative and really trippy and just completely insane. There were three different installments of it. There was Earth X, then Universe X, then Paradise X, and for some reason, Paradise X, which was the big finale, is still in print, but the other two are not? However, they are available on Comixology, and Earth X is $6.99. So if you have read pretty much everything that I have listed off, and you're like, yeah, but give me something strange. Give me something that I probably have not checked out. Earth X is one of those books that, yeah, all the old fogies like me, we probably know that book. But a lot of the younger readers out there, they never got the opportunity to check this out. This is going to be one of those things that you're going to read and go, holy cow, how come I never heard about this? But okay, guys, I would love to keep going on and on and on about all the Marvel books that are on sale because, as I said, Comixology has a bunch of great sales going on at the moment. This is hands down the best one among them. I am blown away looking at these. I just noticed looking at this right now that the Kree Scroll War is on sale for $4.99. That's an incredible bargain. So I'm going to go and do some of my own personal shopping on this, but let me know in the comments down below what you guys decided to pick up from this sale. You can also let me know on Twitter and Twitch and Tumblr what you decided to read by contacting me at Professor Thorgy. I really want to know if you guys got the opportunity to check out some cool stuff in here that you never got to read before, because listen, here on the Professor Thorgy channel, I just want to help you guys get exposed to whatever your geeky obsession is. And this is one of the best opportunities I've ever seen to do that. So I know that this was different. This is something that we don't normally do on this channel where I come in here and just tell you about sales. But if you want to see more stuff like that, well then let me know in the comments down below. Again, thanks for tuning in, everyone. If you want to see more comic book stuff from us or anything else from the world of geekery, including movies or video game reviews, then make sure that you click that subscribe button. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. Come back next time.